Assalamu alaikum and bismillahir rahmanir rahim we are here with uh, lecture number 2 of uh, neutrophil and uh, in first lecture we discuss about the structure of neutrophil and uh, classification of wbcs that uh, there are different types of classification in wbcs as discussed in the lecture number 1 and uh, then we have some sort of granules how these granules are formed we have primary granules and then we have secondary granules and how they are formed and they are pinched off from the golgi operator and then it become a primary granule or secondary granule uh, which enzyme they contain like myeloperoxidase or acid hydrolase or lysozymes uh, lysosomes they have in their granules today we are going to discuss its size and shape its normal size and shape in keeping uh, the size and uh, normal shape in mind uh, we have also variation in structure there is some uh, normal variation and abnormal variation as well like in normal variation we have band cell or segmented cell or uh, uh, some sort of uh, bar bodies or we also call it drumsticks so this lecture is for fourth semester bs medical laboratory technology my name is tanvir tar i am i am lecturer at sarhad university of science and information technology here uh, in this slide we are going to discuss size and uh, shape and uh, as you know that the size of neutrophil is uh, uh, about 12 to 15 micron and uh, it's roundish or wide and uh, a fully mature neutrophil tends to be fairly uniform in size with uh, the diameter of 12 to 15 mi micron and a blood smear that tends to be roundish or wide but uh, uh, they have amoeboid character and this may assume an infinite variety of shape they are in constant motion especially polymorph neutrophil that are migrating along the blood vessels walls which tends to produce numerous pseudopodia of clear cytoplasm in advance of the cell they pull the granules containing cytoplasm behind them and the nucleus is uh, always in the rear during moment like uh, this is the nucleus it's uh, rare and uh, the granules uh, might be in front variation in structure when uh, we are going to discuss variation uh, we should have one thing in our mind that there is normal variation as well as abnormal variation uh, like normal variation we have band cell and uh, um, drumstick uh, bar bodies there are normal found in a female uh, neutrophil Uh, and apart from variation in the shape of the nucleus of the band and the uh, segmented cell uh, one other normal variation is commonly encountered uh, and uh, that uh, um, is present in polymorph neutrophil uh, about 5 to 10% uh, of all neutrophil of the human uh, female contain a special sex chromatin, uh, chromatin pattern uh, that is called a uh, bar body uh, this one uh, here it's also called normal uh, neutrophil drumstick or it's also called a uh, bar bodies um, which is attached to one of the lobe of the mm, segmented nucleus uh, here you are focus on this picture so this one uh, the body from or a drum drumstick from the segmented this is called a bar body and uh, apart uh, from this normal variation a, no a number of abnormal variations are uh, also found um, Uh, in the granulocytic morphology uh, like uh, we have uh, uh, dolly bodies uh, we have hypersegmented neutrophil uh, macrogranulocytes bulgur huge anomaly elders really anomaly chedek hegeshi anomaly and uh, also we have myeloperoxidase deficiency so now we are going to discuss it one by one the first one is uh, macrogranulocytes and uh, as its name indicates that uh, they are granulocyte but of larger size these are larger than the normal granulocyte that are commonly found in people uh, which are suffering mostly in megaloblastic anemia that are called macrogranulocytes then uh, another type that is uh, hypersegmented neutrophil and uh, these uh, polymorph neutrophil each have more than five lobes in their nucleus uh, and are commonly encountered in the Uh, megaloblastic anemias and uh, pernicious anemias and uh, some uh, other uh, anemias not all neutrophil in person with uh, megaloblastic anemias uh, will show hypersegmentation uh, but uh, majority uh, of the cases we have found uh, hypersegmentation in the neut neutrophil 
uh, on the peripheral smear this is uh, peripheral smear and uh, here you are looking that uh, they are hyper segmented so we have uh, two types in abnormal variation first one is macrogranulocyte that are uh, large in size mostly found in megaloblastic anemia then we have, we have a hyper segmented neutrophil and uh, there are those cells which have more than five loops uh, uh, having segmentation and uh, that's why that are called hyper segmented neutrophil and mostly that are found in megaloblastic anemias and uh, pernicious anemias the third one is uh, dolly bodies and uh, these are single or multiple granule cytoplasm inclusion uh, usually seen along the outer edge of the mature neutrophil and uh, are commonly they are commonly associated with uh, severe infections uh, burns and sometime with the pregnancies or uh, cancer as well dolly bodies uh, are thought to be they are ribosomes containing remnant of the promyelocytic uh, um, stage uh, the promyelocyte cytoplasm so dolly bodies uh, are gray blue cytoplasm and they are mostly found in severe infection burns and some pregnancies and also in cancers and they are the remnants of ribosomes of the promyelocytic cytoplasm another abnormal variation is pulgar hued anomaly uh, which simply called pha and uh, this is an inherited abnormality characterized by a failure of normal uh, nuclear segmentation uh, nuclear uh, neutrophil of individual who are heterozygous for this anomaly will show typically two lobe nuclei, uh, nuclei or uh, pensiness cells so called because these nuclei look like old fashioned glasses that were pinched onto the nose and uh, that's why they are called pensiness cells here if you look toward this neutrophil and if you look to this old fashion glasses so they are having same resemblance and uh, that are called pulgar hued anomaly uh, they are because of the um, failure of normal nuclear segmentation and uh, those person who are homozygous for this condition have round nuclei in their granulocytes this condition inherited a simple um, atosomal trait and uh, occur in absent uh, about one of every 6000 people it is not associated with any specific disease but they are mostly found in some type of anemias then here we have elders rarely anomaly and uh, if you are looking toward uh, this anomaly so this uh, is an another but much more rare inherited anomaly formed as a result of abnormal polysaccharide metabolism uh, which prevents the formation of secondary specific staining granules thus in the uh, in these individuals only primary azerophilic granules are present and uh, here nuclear maturation is uh, not uh, interfered with segmentation of nucleus is normal the presence of the elder israeli anomaly is often associated with certain disease uh, for example hurler and hunter syndrome and mo mostly common found in this uh, uh, variation and uh, they are produced shortened uh, lifespan so this is uh, elder israeli anomaly a rare autosomal recessive uh, because of the uh, deficiency of mucopolysaccharide defect and uh, they are only producing primary granules mostly found in Huller and hunters center then we have another type and uh, it's shedek hegeshi anomaly uh, this is uh, this anomaly is associated with a potentially lethal disorder uh, known as Chidek Higashi syndrome. These cells have very few but uh, gigantic specific staining granules uh, that are unable to fuse with the uh, phagosomes. Um, that's why they are uh, called Chidek, and uh, hence these granules are uh, non functional. Um, the patients uh, who are suffering from Chidek Higashi normally having uh, like this type of uh, face and uh, uh, they have the cells in their uh, uh, morphology or in peripheral so the neutrophil look like this one another abnormal uh, variation in the structure and uh, that is myeloperoxidase deficiency and uh, what is myeloperoxidase is we have already discussed it in our lecture one but uh, you remember that uh, uh, myeloperoxidase is a human enzyme in the granules. Uh, 
uh, basically it's also present in the erythelic granules of the neutrophil and in the lysosomes of the monocytes in the and uh, it has very important function that is fight against the uh, microbes uh, so its function is its major function is to microbial killing and uh, in autosomal recessive inherited disorder the absence of myeloperoxidase is seen and uh, there is in, uh, no mpo and how can we detect these mpo so there are certain stains like uh, immunohistochemistry or some cytogenic stain and uh, we can also do it with uh, myeloperoxidase uh, by flow cytometry so these all are about the normal and abnormal protein and uh, in this today lecture uh, we have discussed the normal size and shape of a neutrophil and while keeping in mind that if there is some normal shape so we also have uh, uh, abnormality as well and if we, you are looking toward a peripheral smear and uh, you see some such abnormality in the neutrophil so it might be maybe a pulgar gluten only or it may be dolly bodies or it may be a hyper segmentation so this is very important lecture and uh, it's the end of uh, the neutrophil we have discussed lecture one and lecture two inshallah in next lecture we will discuss eosinophil basophil and then nanocyte and microcyte so thank you very much and keep watching my videos.